Hey there. Ari, how are you? I'm doing well, Basil. I'm doing well, Basil. Good. So, Ari, you'd like to talk about? RGLD. RGLD, Royal Gold, trading at 74.13, down 4 cents. So, your plan was to go short. You've been long for eight, forever, and you've got a position. I think you're using uh, puts, is that correctly, on the, on the short side? And are you still holding those positions? I use the uh, calls on the short side and puts on the long side. Okay. All right. Good. I, I sell the call. Right. Oops. I sell the Did call you... and I get a value for it. And then I'll sell a put when I think it's at the bottom. I sell a put and hopefully it doesn't hit it. So tell me, um, as it stands right now, RGLD, Royal Gold, we had discussed it, and I said, on a worst-case basis, and I'm not sure it would get there because the whole thing was, how did it hold? My, I said to you, between 82 and 79, how would it hold there? Um, it didn't, and it went straight to the 200-period moving average in the weekly chart at 74.13, where it is right at this moment. What's the story? Well, uh, it's at a 61% retracement. And um, remember, I view it as a trading in a band, and the band is roughly from 60 to 105, which it okay. hasn't hit 105. And there's no reason why it can't drop down to 60. So I'm drawing a channel line. Let me show you what I'm doing. In the monthly chart from that peak A that was made back on the 30, uh, back in August of 2017 at 87.74, and then the two little double tops at uh, on August the, uh, a year later, a year later um, at 94.11 and 94.39, gave you peak. C, because there's an inside count, you remember that? And then we got that peak D when you called. We were looking at it at 98.53 back in July of 2018. If I do a parallel line, that's all I'm going to do. I go new parallel, click, and it goes. And where does it come out? It says we're in the area in the monthly chart where this should be, should be. A potential support area, I call it either a buy zone, a propellant zone, or a support area, because if it breaks under it, that's usually not very good. And that line for September comes in at 70, around about 72.87. Let's call it 72. So we are really close to that particular line, number one. But the MACD is turned down. The stochastic is very negative The in the monthly chart. Weekly chart, MACD is really bad. Stochastic is making the W formation, which says, could be close to some kind of a bounce. And in the daily chart, the MACD is showing a, a little bit of a positive divergence. And the stochastic also is showing somewhat of a divergence with the unbalanced volume really close to trying to turn up. But at 7.77%, that daily chart, it needs to get to the 12 or 15% area to be able to sustain a move that's going to take RGLD from the 74 level now to the 9 period moving average of 76.87. So that's the way I'm looking at it. Now, my question to you is, is this where you start to look at where you want to cover, where you want to take profits, where you want to either get out and, and wait, or are you still holding your positions or maybe modifying them? What's happening is they expire automatically on the third Friday. So those, for the poor guy who I sold it to, they're at zero, and I keep all the profits. Okay, so, good. So I just let them expire right now because it's going for me. I have no reason to get out of the position. And but the question it, is, but, go oh, sorry, yeah. No, I just wanted to say, if they are worthless, they would have to rally at least. I mean, you'd have to get Royal Gold to rally at least six or eight points between now and a week from Friday, to even see it go from pretty much zero to even 0.30, right, or 0.50. That's correct. Okay, right. Okay, so right it, at, at zero right now, you're taking the entire profit. So you may as well just take it and, and, and forget about it, right? Yes. What, what my thing is, I view this as a, between, between around 75, I view it as a really good support like you do. Yes. And I'm kind of, wonder, kind of wondering if I should just 
stand still and not do anything, not go short, not go long, just kind of. So, so let me wait just do this. So let me just show you something on the gold contract. Now, a lot of people are asking about gold right now. Gold is now only up two. At this point, under other circumstances, if there was a worldwide crisis coming right now, gold would be, I mean, you'd be looking at 1240 to 1255. I, you know, that's the way it usually worked over the years and years and years we've looked at gold. So this is basically saying that the crisis is not showing up as a fear factor in gold. And that's why I like to look at gold in two ways. One is where it's uh, um, a commodity that's being traded either positively or negatively. In this case, the weekly and monthly charts are very negative. The daily's just had a nice bounce. And the other is as a commodity of fear. And that goes back to the, to the historical years where people would put gold in their shoes and it's a, a form of, of trade. It was a form of safety so that if you ever had to flee or leave your house, whatever it is, you had something tangible to use as, as, as cash. So um, what I am looking at here is that today was a very good example that if, if gold started off running at about six points and seven points. I think it went higher than that. In fact, it went to the high today is 12, 12, 12.70. And now it's trading at 12.03. Days young, anything can happen. But this would have been the opportunity to take out and start leg C above uh, the 28th of August high of 1220.70. So I'm looking at this and I'm saying, you know, it doesn't make sense. I think, and I'm going to be talking about this probably tomorrow. I'm going to spend a little time talking about the dollar. It seems to me that the dollar has international backing just as in the, in the longer term, in the big picture, United States equities are becoming the favorite vehicles for foreigners. This is my, my impression for what I read from what I'm looking at. And that's saying to me that as a fear factor, I don't think gold is working. And therefore, we have to look at it as a commodity. And if I look at it as a commodity, I have to go to high grade copper, not doing where it's up a, a fraction. Chart doesn't look good. I have to look at silver in different days. It, it's acting either better or worse than gold, but both of them are acting poorly. Um, weekly and monthly, gold right, uh, silver is not acting very well. Uh, if I look at platinum, they're all doing the same thing. Platinum is holding a little bit better, but their weekly and monthly charts don't look that good. And if I look at the TRCCI, which has oil, it has everything in it, um, that is the Thomson Reuters commodity equal weighted um, ETF. Or is it a fund? I can't remember. It is also, it looks exactly the same. So I think you're correct. But you know what? All you need to do is to wait a little bit because you could always modify your plan. If there is a bounce in gold, you're still making a, a great deal of money. You could always exit and change your trade. I think you're correct. Stay in this position maybe another day over the weekend into Monday. Maybe let's talk again Monday and see what's happened. Thank you. And congratulations, absolutely fantastic trade. Very, very well done, well planned, well executed. That's Ariane Arcadia. I'll be back.